Lankavi. Officially known by its title Lankavi, the jewel of Kada is a duty-free island and an archipelago of 99 islands located some 30 kilometers off the coast of northwestern Malaysia and a few kilometers south of Koh Taratuo adjacent to the Thai border. Politically, it is an administrative district of Kada with Kua as its largest town. Pantai Chinang is the island's most popular beach and a tourist area. The name Lankavi is thought to have existed by the early 15th century. Although in the 16th century, the island of Lankavi was also marked on maps variously as Langa, Lanka, Lanzura and Langapura. There are many suggestions for the origin of the name Lankavi. According to one interpretation, Lankavi means island of the reddish brown eagle, a Brahmini kite in colloquial Malay. The Malay word for eagle is helang that is colloquially shortened to lang and kavi is a red stone used as a chalk to mark goods. This interpretation was used to create the landmark sculpture of an eagle as the symbol of Lankavi at Dataran Helang that is Eagle Square in Kua. Some believed that Lankavi is the same as or related to the Lanka or Lankapuri mentioned in Indian sources. This ancient name Lanka or Lankapura and Lankapuri is found in Indian literature from an early period named in Ramayana as the city of the king Ravana. Although the identification of the original Lanka is not certain, Puri or Puram in Sanskrit means a town or city. The name Lankavi is also thought to be related to Lanka Sukha, an old kingdom believed to have links with Keda. Some also thought that Lankavi means many beautiful islands, Lanka being a Sanskrit word meaning beautiful, while V means many. One of the stories most synonymous with this island is the story of Masuri's curse, which is the talk of the town and the focus of tourists visiting Lankavi. The story of Masuri is believed to have happened during the late 18th century. There are several versions of the Masuri's curse that are often told either through writing or oral by local residents. Masuri's father, Pandak Maya, is said to be from Indonesia, while his mother, Endak Alang or Mak Ya, is of Chinese descent. Pandak Maya and his wife migrated to Tonka in southern Thailand and later moved to Lankapuri the old name of Lankavi. One day, Pandak Maya, while resting in the hut after working in the rice fields, he found a rice crust that made a sound like a baby crying. As he did not have children, the magical rice crust was brought home by Pandak Maya. He boiled the rice with that and gave it to his wife. Soon later, Endak Alang became pregnant with Masuri. When Masuri was born, the poor couple's sustenance increased as the rice they cultivated became more and more and it is also believed that when Pandak Maya discovered incense rock pits and swallows nests which he later sold to Chinese merchants from Penang. Their lives changed immensely and after that Masuri's father began to be called the rich Pandak Maya. Masuri grew up with enough Malay values and religion. She was also taught martial arts to defend herself. Masuri grew up as a most beautiful Pingitan virgin, that is, Javanese virgin, who became known for her extraordinary nature and cleverness. Masuri's fame is not only spread in Kampung Mawat and Mukim Ulu Melaka, where she lives but also throughout Lankavi Island. There are also a few people who were jealous of Masuri's popularity, especially women. Among those who have a heart for Masuri is the Pengalu of Lankavi, who was also the representative of the Sultan of Keda on that island, that is Datuk Perkama Jayawan Yaha. Wanya's wife, Wan Mahora, was furious 
when she found out that her husband had the intention of marrying Masuri as his second wife. Wan Mahora, younger brother Wan Darus, also had the same wish. Wan Mahora approved Wan Darus to propose to Masuri. Their wedding ceremony was very lively. Many men on the island were disappointed because they failed to have Masuri. Likewise, with the women who set their hearts on Wan Darus, who was said to be a mighty warrior and no less handsome. Their married life was beautiful as they were, but fate began to play a vital role in their life as they came to know later. When Masuri became pregnant with her first child, Kera State in Malaysia and Siam, old name of Thailand, were not in good relationship. Siam tried to conquer the northern part of Kera and declared war. His Majesty the Sultan ordered all his officials to gather commanders to defend the country. Datuk Prakrama Jaya called the people of Lankavi to help with the Kedah army that was fighting. Masuri's husband Vandarus also left the war. In this situation, as Masuri was pregnant, she went and stayed with her parents. The war happening on one side, Masuri was blessed with a son who was named Wan Hakim. There are also some stories that they say the Masuri's son was named as Wan Mat Arus. Later one day, an immigrant named Deramang from Batubara of northern Sumatra landed in Lankavi. Deramang was hired by Pandak Maya to help him with his farm. He was a sincere and hard-working person. He was also a singer and a poet. Almost every night at Pandak Maya's house, many people in the village gathered and were entertained with the dances and poems delivered by Diramang. Masuri and Diramang became closed in a friendly manner, but some people did not like it as they were jealous of her beauty and fame, especially Van Mahora, her sister-in-law. She was in a dignitary post, but the people did not care or bother about her much. So she was jealous of Masuri. Later on, she found out about Masuri and Deramang's closeness. And she took this opportunity. She instigated her husband about Masuri and Deramang's closeness. One Yaya began to observe Masuri and Deramang. Soon their plan worked when one day, Deramang was seen entering Masuri's house to take care of Masuri's son, one Hakim, while Masuri was also at home. This was their best chance to catch them and Datuk Prakrama Jaya ordered his men, led by Panglima Hitam, who was the chief of army, to arrest Masuri and Deramang. Deramang escaped but was hunted down and killed. Masuri's parents were shocked to hear the news and offered all their wealth to save the life of their only daughter but were rejected by Datuk Prakrama Jaya. One Darus, Masuri's husband, was not aware of this arrest. There is also another version that says that Deramang was there when Masuri was dragged to the Balai Adat in Padangmat Sirat. Masuri was then taken to a place and was tied to a tree for punishment. People came to witness the matter because they were shocked by the accusations thrown at Masuri. People were surprised when the spear or dagger used to stab the woman's body failed to penetrate it. This event worries Wan Mahora because it is a proof that Masuri is innocent. Masuri was continued to be tortured until she was lifeless. But Masuri finally revealed the secret that she can only be killed by using her family's heirloom dagger. Hearing this and without wasting time, Datuk Prakrama Jaya ordered the dagger to be brought from Pandak Maya's house. After obtaining it, Wan Yaha stabbed Masuri through Masuri's ribs and left breast. And it is also to be believed that some birds flew above her to cover her body. In a weak and in a dying state, Masuri uttered these words that were considered a curse and remembered throughout the ages. 
that is i accept my death if it is true that i am guilty but if i am wronged i forbid my blood to flow on this earth i swear the land of lankavi will not be safe and become a field of measured distance of seven generations the blood flowing out of masuri's body was not red but flowed as white there is a story that says that a blood floated like a cloud and disappeared in the air and did not drip to the ground when one daru returned to lankavi after the kada army's defeat in kolamoda but were disappointed after hearing the news of masuri's death he and his son one hakim along with masuri's parents left lankavi for good the cme's army had conquered to all corners of kada including lankavi island exactly 7 days after masuri's death destruction and death occurred everywhere datuk prakrama jaya was killed by the siamese army and his body was dumped in lankana river meanwhile one mohora was raped and made a slave by the siamese army before being killed after these malicious acts of envy and slander lankavi bore the bitter consequences After the murder of Masuri Lankavi island was attacked by Siamese seeing that the situation was not in Datuk Prakrama Jaya favor he had ordered the people of Lankavi to plant the available rice so that it would not fall into the hands of enemy the effect of the defeat has caused the stored rice that was planted to burn Datuk Prakrama Jaya's defeat and the rice burning incident are said to be related to masuri's curse it is only at the end of the 20th century after the seventh generation have supposedly come to pass the lankavi began to prosper as a tourist destination maka masuri was then built in a memory of their fair maiden the museum in maka masuri also showcases a large portrait of masuri some of her precious jewels and the weapon which has been used to execute her it is a worthwhile to pay a visit to the museum however in order to upkeep the cleanliness visitors are requested to take off their shoes before stepping into the museum and you are not allowed to take photographs in the museum as well coming out from the museum take some steps further and you will see masuri's tomb here you will see the tomb placed in the middle of the white square embedded in a beautiful landscape with greenery and flowers in front of the tomb you will be able to read a brief description on masuri's fate as being a victim of treachery and jealousy walking around in maka masuri you will be amazed by the artistic and classical malay architecture there are several traditional malay wooden houses in the museum where some serve as a mini museum some unoccupied further inside you will be able to see a well the masuri well and you can even buy the processed well water in a bottle in a few in a low cost malaysian currency besides portraits of masuri's descendants of the seventh generation are also being displayed on a board near the well thus visitors can learn more about her family here